The banks have vowed not to go back to the exorbitant interest rates they were charging before the introduction of the rate caps, which was removed yesterday. So the pledge follows the passing of President Uhuru Kenyatta's memorandum seeking to repeal the interest rate caps. Kenya Bankers Association Chairperson Joshua Igara stated that the banks would price loans reasonably, not exceeding 2-3% to of what they are currently charging. KBA said that they lost over 1 million borrowers since the dawn of the rates cap regime and they will look to regain those same customers. Faisal Ahmed has more. A day after the National Assembly failed to overturn President Uru Kenyatta's memo on the repeal on interest rate capping laws, commercial banks lord the move. The bankers under the Lobby Kenya Bankers Association also came out to assure Kenyans that the high interest rate regime was long gone. And when there is a lot of money in supply, the automatically the interest rates will go, uh, will go low. But that is an assumption that we are dealing with normal banks that we are dealing with banks uh, whose activities are determined by market forces. But that is not what we have in Kenya. We will have to kill the cartel characteristics of our banks. So you that the banks are going to be back then. Remember the environment also was different. I'm not sure whether you, you look at some elements, because price points for banks is not just banks deciding. Then the government borrowing rate at that time, I remember we were paying treasury bill rates at 20% in 2015. Mm. In most of your inflation was almost reaching a double digit, if you remember then. So there's a little bit of element that determines what the price of credit is. KCB Group, on its part, vowed to keep its lending rates at not more than 3% of the central bank rate, popularly known as CBR. Currently, the rate is pegged at 9%, and banks have been charging not more than 4% above it. Trusting a, a trust game, mm. which is how, you know, what you say and what we say. But I will challenge you back to tell us uh, any statement we made that we haven't kept. The bankers further said that they have lost more than 1 million customers to other money lending institutions, which they want to regain. There's a million customers that you used to be able to borrow that are no longer borrowing. It's a million customers. That's a large number. Where have those customers gone to? I can tell you. In Shelks, in the Talas, in the branch, paying 70%, 100%. That's where those customers are. So what option does the customer have? The customer then has got to be at the mercy of the unregulated lenders out there, the Shylocks, who then will be lending in the rates that you have mentioned up of uh, 30 50%. The bankers were speaking on the sidelines of the launch of STAWI, a loan facility by banks which seeks to finance small businesses. I remain hopeful that this is only the beginning and that many, many more such products will be coming up as you continue to show that you are responsible banks and you care about the welfare of your fellow Kenyans. Since its launch in June, Stawi has managed to lend out 100 million shillings to various SMEs to finance their activities. The banks say Kenyans should hold them to their words. No more obscene interest rates despite the rate caps being removed. However, this is a test that only time will tell. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV.